Hello and welcome to this Character Creator tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at some of the new features available in Character Creator 1.5. The biggest one being Character Creator's new cloth system. This gives us the ability to create clothes or hair or accessories in an external 3D program, bring those into Character Creator, and then have these clothes automatically conform to the morphs of your character. You can even save out templates of these clothes if you want to use them for some of your future characters. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the entire process of making a character. We're going to start out in Character Creator and then edit this character in ZBrush to get that exact look that we want. Then we're going to be making some clothes, bring those back into Character Creator to dress up our character with. Right, so here's a character that we're going to be working on, and we're going to be doing all of this from scratch. We're going to be making her clothes, her accessories, and even her hair. For the external 3D program, all you really need is something that can rig and export to the FBX file format. So I'm going to be using Blender for this tutorial, but you can use any 3D program that you want that has that capability to export to FBX, so Max or Maya or whatever else. And we're also going to be using ZBrush for the high resolution sculpting and uh, Photoshop and Substance Painter for the textures. So with that, let's get started. Alright, so here we are inside Character Creator, and we can just start editing our character by either clicking and dragging on various portions of our body like this, or by going into our Modify panel and just playing around with these sliders. So one thing that you have to keep in mind when you're working with characters that are intended to be edited uh, in external programs, and in our case it's going to be ZBrush, you don't want to do your proportion edits outside of Character Creator. So if you're going to give her like longer arms, longer legs like this, and a bigger head like that. You want to do all of these things inside Character Creator, or it could break the rig. I'm going to switch over to a time lapse now. Here I turn off the textures. At this point I want to focus more on the silhouette and the shape of the character, and I find that it's easier to do with a plain shader. So again, it's just a matter of playing with the morph sliders or clicking and dragging on the mesh. Actually, clicking and dragging on the mesh is just another way of accessing the sliders. Depending on the part of the body that you're editing, you could have access to one or more morph sliders. For example, with the neck here, if you select the neck and drag up and down, you edit the length of the neck. If you drag side to side, you'll be editing the thickness. Then again, there are times where you'd want more precise control, and that's when you go to the sliders. You could even type in the values you want. Now I pose the character using one of the poses in the calibration window. Remember, your character isn't going to be in a T-pose most of the time, so it's good that Character Creator lets you edit your character in a pose. If you have a custom pose saved out as an iMotion file, you could load that in as well by dragging the file directly into your Character Creator window. And here's what we have so far. I'm pretty happy with these proportions. And what we'll want to do now is export an OBJ file to bring this into ZBrush. So to do that, we're going to go here into File, Export OBJ, New Character. So here are the options, very simple. Uh, it's, uh, you have to choose Y up or Z up depending on the program that you're gonna use. Since we're gonna be using ZBrush, I'm gonna choose Y up. To be able to bring the character back in as a morph slider, you're going to want to export the full body. So we're going to hit export now, and we're going to save out this OBJ file. So let's we'll give it a name. Let's say uh, a Z uh, character start, and save that out. Now, once you save out an OBJ file, you'll notice if we go to that folder over here, is that 
it writes out a bun bunch of textures, so that's convenient. It has, here's our OBJ file, and down here you will find an OBJ key file. Now this is an important file that you'll need to get the character back into Character Creator, so make sure to keep this around. 